In this tutorial, we will show you how to manage your study plan and explain some key terminology. This is the first in a two-step process for managing your course's study plan before you can enrol into units, which we'll cover in tutorial eight, enrolling in units. In the My Study tile, you'll see your academic history with Macquarie University, which will display all attempted and past courses. To view your study plan, Click on the Manage My Course button for your selected course. Otherwise, you will be taken straight to this screen if you only have one course. Your study plan is a valuable tool that guides you on which units are available for selection, which units you have passed, and how many credit points are required for your course. Note that eStudent is only a guide and should not be used to determine your course requirements you should refer to the course handbook for the units you are required to complete. Now, let's break it down. Here, you have your course title, for example, a Bachelor of Arts. Beneath this are the requirements you'll need to satisfy for your course. These are organised by these multicoloured icons called structures. These structures show the different requirements of your course and the units that are available for selection within each section. If you do not see these structures listing the units for your course, you should refer to the course handbook for the units you are required to complete. For example, here we can see a structure within this arts course for a criminology major we selected in tutorial six. If your course does not have a major or specialization, that's okay. The following information still applies. We can see under each structure what is required to be completed for this course. Generally, you will have different zones of unit requirements for your course, such as the core zone, which are the units that must be completed within your course, and flexible zone, which are the options you can choose. Mandatory units for your course will be shown with a required tag. You can see on the right-hand side that these have a view button. Clicking this will display information about the unit. You'll see information about any requisites associated with this unit and any upcoming confirmed study periods that are available for you to enrol into for this unit. Some structures allow you to select from an option set, such as elective units, minors or majors. You'll see a tag for selection required with an orange icon. You can see on the right hand side that these have a select button, which allows you to search for and add units or structures to your study plan. For example, this course has 80 credit points in the flexible zone. Simply search for the name of the unit, major or minor, using the search box. Once you've decided, click Add to Plan to make your selection. Here we can see the unit has been added to the study plan. Some courses will not have a flexible zone. If this is the case, you will only enrol into units under your core zone you can find the rules in the course handbook. Remember, if you have any issues, you can always contact Service Connect and they will be happy to assist you. Lastly, you'll see that the units may be tagged as unscheduled. This means that although the unit appears on your study plan, either as a required unit or as an elective, you've not yet decided when to enrol into the unit. This will be completed in the plan and enrol screen. Please note that you're not required to enrol into all unscheduled units at once and that you can gradually manage your study plan and enrol into units for the upcoming study period or for the academic year when available. Now that you've made your unit selections on your study plan, we'll show you how to use the plan and enrol tool to enrol into your units and complete any outstanding pre-enrolment tasks in tutorial eight, enrolling into units. See you there.